this is Teacher Tin. Today, we're going to talk about how to make digital worksheets. So, we can either do that using PowerPoint. We can also use Google Slides. But for now, let's start with PowerPoint. Kasi I know, mas maraming teachers ang familiar sa PowerPoint. So, all you need to do is to start a new slide. Okay, for this activity, I chose a white background. Kasi pag white, mas madali kasi siya ang bagayan ng pictures. Lalo na kung hindi naman tayo pa masyadong magaling maghanap ng pictures na PNG or transparent background, mas maganda kung white muna. But if you want to change the color, that's easy also. All you have to do is to go to design and then format background. Here, you can see at the right, fill. So fill Fill here refers to the color at the back, so you can choose kung solid siya, gradient, picture, whatever pattern you like. And then choose the color. So if you want yellow, it will turn yellow. If you want it blue, pwede rin. Okay, so initially, I actually use gray. However, when I did the worksheets, I felt that white is a better option, especially for the pictures that I chose. So, one tip is to prepare all the pictures that you need for the worksheets beforehand. So, for example, me, when I download pictures, I already have a folder in the desktop. All of the pictures will go there. And then, what I do is that inside the presentation, I create a slide, put all the pictures that I need so that I don't need to keep on going back and forth sa iba-ibang mga windows or sa iba-ibang folders para lang kuhanin yung picture. So, maging efficient tayo. Kasi ang step usually would be like this. You go to insert and then you click picture. So, either you get it from your device. I suggest download beforehand from the internet. So, it will direct you kung nasaan man yung mga pictures nyo. Like this. And then you choose and then click insert. So, paulit-ulit siya. Like that. So it takes a little bit of time if we keep on looking for pictures and inserting and so on. So better prepare them beforehand. Okay, so let's try how to do this. The first thing that I do usually is to create a cover page. I am quite particular with this because it dictates the theme of the entire pack or the entire set of activities. So, para lang mas magkakamuka sila. Tapos, yung color scheme will also depend on that. So, for example, here, medyo pastel. And then, for the title, medyo meron siya yung hint ng orange, just like the flower here. And then, mag maganda siya sa mata. Malamig siyang tingnan. Always remember, when we do the activities, keep in mind that the kids will see this in their tablets or in this or in their laptops. So, pag pre-nojack, ganito yung itsura niya. May may tunog. <laughs> so, maganda pag PowerPoint, ayan, may sound. So, medyo mas engaging siya. And then, malinis siya tingnan, hindi masyadong glutter. Ito lang masyadong nakasulat. Okay, so how do we do that? So, first I decide what picture I'm going to use. So, here, dahil nandito na sa slide yung pictures, pili lang ako na isa. Control C. Go to the slide and then control V. Then just make it big so that it's easier to see. Okay, so the two fonts I use for this slide are for the title I use Pacifico 48, and then for the name of the pack I use Abizi, and then for this one also Abizi. So usually, hindi ako gumagamit ng more than two fonts kasi nakakalito na for the kid. And then particular din ako sa instructions, yung fonts ko for instructions, lalo kung young kids, kailangan yung A niya, yung ganitong A, hindi yung A na serif. Kasi that's what they use for writing and that's what they're going to copy. So, be careful with that. So, fonts that are like this would be a BZ, Quicksand, Print Bold, yun usually yung mga ginagamit ko. Comic Sans pwede din, pero medyo hindi siya friendly sa mata. Okay, so we have the picture here now. And then the next thing we need to do, if we want to put text, is to go to Insert, and then Insert Text Box. Now, with text box, um, kung gusto nyo gawa ng animations per word or per 
sentence or per set of word, wag mo siyang ilalagay sa isang text box kasi dapat hiwa-hiwalay ng text box per animation that you want to do para hindi ma- magulo. So, right-click lang. Click edit text. And then type. So, here the title. The Runaway Bunny. And then choose what font you want. So, control A. Go here in the in this part of the interface. Look sa fonts part and then look for Pacifico. So, depende kung anong gusto nyo. So, I believe this is 40 or 30? 30. Tama ba? Let's check. This is bigger. 48. Okay, 48. Let's make it 48 and then change the size. Extend it lang para hindi masyadong malapit sa picture. Then, change the color. I believe I use this color. Okay. Medyo mahilig ako sa master niya yun. Now, how to insert a shape? Go to insert again. Click shape. Okay. I use this one, the one with the curve line. The one with the box. Okay. Dahil na-click na natin kanina yung format shape. Ang maganda sa PowerPoint, ang bilis niya lang, oh, lumalabas kagad yung tools na kailangan mo. So, for example, here, gives you an idea already what color you want to use but I don't like that color let's use a lighter color this one okay so we can adjust the shape then in the inside just click edit text okay. oh it's still in white so yeah I will change the font color activity pack key to do Tama kaya akong spelling. Hindi ko makita eh. Because it's in white. Let's make it black first. Go to the letter A. That's the font color. Let's make it black. Ah, okay. Tama yung font. Now, I'm going to change. See? I don't like that letter A. This letter A. I don't like that. Because that's not how kids write their letter A. So, I'll use a BZ. By the way, a BZ is not a built-in font. So, you might need to download that first. Is that a 20? Or is it too big? Ah, it's too big. Let's make it 14. Actually, it doesn't matter kung anong gusto nyo. And then, this one, I just added this. Because it gives an explanation somehow with the picture. And this is also a popular quote from the book. Because if you've read the book, it's about a clingy mother. No, hindi man clingy. Loving mother who doesn't want her child to leave her. So, she kept on saying, if you're gonna be a fish, then I'm going to be a fisherman and fish you. So, the idea is that mothers really love their children and that they do not want them to leave their side. Okay. So, I believe this is if... I won't. Ano ba to? I will run after you. For you are my little bunny. Ah, you. Not really that good at typing. <laughs> my little bunny. Alright. Then, control A. I made it italicized. Change the font. It's A, B, Z. And then make it 20. A little bit bigger. Adjust the text box. And then, if you want it to be at the center, just go here, click center. So, it's pretty much like what you do in Word. Alright. So, that's the first slide. That's the title. Now, the next activity I have is this. Some bunny loves you. Help mother bunny go after her little bunny. So here, the idea is that the kid has to match what the little bunny wants to be or transforms. And then, what the mother will do. This is not arranged in the correct order. So this is not a sequencing activity. It's really just matching 
what the child wants to do and then what the mother will do after. And then here, notice at the bottom, I put here, Mother Bunny told Little Bunny, if you become a blank, then I will be a blank. So this is what the teacher will keep on saying at the while doing the activity. So to prompt the kid, kasi nga, ito yung sentence structure ni Mommy Bunny's story. Eh. So, it serves serves as a prompt. Actually, I did this more to remind myself also. <laughs> Kasi ba, nakakalimutin ko how I'm going to prompt the, the kid. And also, to teach the structure if then. Kasi this is a conditional sentence, right? So, we want the kid to be familiar with the sentence structure as well. Now, notice, I put here, somebody loves you. Hindi yung outright na title nung task na okay, this is a matching task because that's quite boring. So, you want to engage the kids by making the name of the activity exciting and appealing. And then, I change the color for bunny para to, em to emphasize lang the word play ng from somebody to some bunny. Okay, so how do we do that? Let's make a new slide. I prefer that the slide is blank kasi it's easier to play than use a preset. Tapos, dun sa preset, dun ka pa mag adjust ng text box. So, mas mahirap yun for me. It's more cluttered. So, let's do the let's do the design of the border first. Actually, it's up to you if you want to start with the design or if you want to start with the content first. Any is fine. Okay, so I'll put the ears here because it's about bunnies. If this is a drag and drop activity, I'll put it here. Because I didn't pre present it. So, may mas may texture ng konte or mas may dating. Pero dahil ipi present ko siya. Yan na lang. Okay, what I did was I just made lines. So, insert line here. That will serve as the border. Are we looking the hundred break? Okay, wait. Ayan. So this can serve as the border. And then I will just change it. Ang ganda o, oh, ang bilis. The effects are already here. So you just have to out, just to, just have to decide ko ano gusto nyo gawin. Here, okay. I don't like a straight line. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to format it first. So lalabas yung format shape. I'll change the color. Let's make it pink. Because it's cute. And then, let's make it 5. This one is to make it um, more visible. So, it determines kung gano'n ka thick yung line natin. And then, I wanted a broken line. So, I'll choose this one. There! So, broken line na siya. Pero parang mas makapal to than what I used here. I know. It's the same thing. Okay, so when you have it already, ayusin lang natin. When you have that, all you have to do is to copy it. So, Control c Control v Around it. Okay, and then Control v again. This time, just adjust. Adjust, then make it vertical. Control C, Control V, paste again. Okay, mas ma mas kita kasi siya, mas manini siya tingnan when we put borders. That's why I prefer to use borders. But it depends on you. And then let's do the title. So the title, insert text box again. This is easier for me rather than have presets. By the way, it's I use the landscape set up like this. I didn't change the size also of the the slide. Kasi nga, pag pre-noject siya, mas kita ng kids. Kesa kapag ginawa natin siyang mukhang worksheet talaga na bond paper size. So, hindi naman kasi pre-project yun. So, I have, I think about how it will look like in a tablet or in an iPad. Kaya ganito ko siya eh kinagawa. Now, very particular tayo sa itsura kasi, remember, pag nakatingin ng kids sa screen, mataas ang expectations ng mga yan sa graphics at saka sa itsura. Kasi nga naman, when they play, they see a lot of um, 
everybody loves money. They see a lot of interface. Na iba, uh, they see a lot of games. So, very particular sila sa itsura. So, help, mother, bunny, run after her little bunny. So, again, I use a BZ. And then, for the prompt, let's click shape. So, insert then shapes. I like this one. Yung parang banner. Ayun, that one. Just make it a little bit lighter. So, go to color. It's under fill. Let's use the lighter color. Again, I'm just being consistent with the colors used in the title. So that they look they look like they belong to only one set of activities. So mas neat siya tingnan. Okay, click and then edit text. So here this is the prompt that we need we want our kids to think about so that they can direct their responses. So ito rin yung sasabihin ni teacher para Ma-assist sila with answer answering. So, mother, let's change the color because it's still white. The preset is white. Let's use blue. So, mother, bunny told little bunny, if you will be a blank, that could be a, a that could be a or an, then I will be uh, black. Okay, why is there? Why are there blanks? Because those are going to be filled out by the kid as you discuss the story. So let's change the font and make it into a BZ again. Let's make it twenty, so big enough for us. Ah, uh, no, let's make it smaller because it's too big for the box. What fifteen? Let's check, ha. Huh? This one is 14. Okay, let's make it 14. And then, put it at the side. And then, the color has to be bright blue. Let's use this blue. Okay, let's make this a bit bigger. Ayan, para kasha. Okay, let's check the spelling. <laughs> Little. Okay, I'm going to emphasize if and then because that's the structure that I want my kids to learn. So, and then, and then. So, the colors, they have. You don't just change colors just because you want to. There's a purpose behind it. Ayan, so that's the instruction. And then. Let's try to recall what were the things that the little bunny tried to be in the story. So, let's. Get the rock, the fish, or the trout, the crocus, and the bird. So, control C. Let's put it here. Then the other set would be what the mother wanted to be. So that includes the mountain climber, the gardener, the fisherman, and the tree. There. Put it on the side. So let's check how will this look once it's projected. Okay, so clean naman siya. So one thing you need to see is that balanced ba yung elements, clean ba siya, um, hindi ba siya masyadong cluttered, orderly ba siya. Yeah, at least siguro kung gagawa man tayo ng rows, at least four rows lang kasi nga kung sa tablet to masyadong cluttered kung more than four. When I when I mean rows ito, yung one row si bunny ear, si rock and then si mountain climber, then si fish and si gardener. Yan. Four. We cannot put all seven kasi masyado nang marami. Tas ito lang yung kayang i-project. So try to decide ilan lang. Siguro mga around four items at a time. So, we want to help the kids match better. So, let's try to put dots. Para din matuto sila ng 
na, na maging careful with drawing the lines. So just go to shapes, get the circle, click the circle option, make a circle like this. Ayan, no? Meron na siyang preset. Uh, I don't like this color. Let's use yellow. Para may contrast. Ng konti. And yellow is a cognitive color. It appeals really well with kids. So we have four options. Let's do four. Control C, Control V, gana lang. And then, since you have four, check the alignment. Let's just duplicate this. So, three, four, Control C, Control V. And there you go. So, that's it. So, same principle as the other set. This one. Ganun din. But this this one has only three options. Okay, so this is for matching. So basically, the skill that you want to teach here is noting details. The next one is a sequencing activity like this one. So the mother and the child, they're running after each other. So kapag transform sa mind niya si little bunny, meron ng ginagawa si mother bunny. So here the goal is really to sequence. Okay, so how do we do that? So create a new slide again. Make it blank because it's easier to manipulate if it's blank. Let's create the border. So same steps lang siya. So same steps lang siya. Basically, the only difference is that instead of putting putting um, dots like this one and matching, what the kid will do here is the right numbers. So, ito naman, ganito lang yan. Uh, if you want to put the box, just go to insert, click shape, choose the box. And we preset siya again. I don't like this color. Gawin natin yellow para consistent tayo with the rest of the task. Okay, there. That's how we do it. And then the rest is just like the same thing that we did earlier. Okay, the, la the the next one. Oh, notice pala here, I have pink for the first two tasks. So, this is to indicate that they're this, uh, this one and this one. Yung borders nila, pink pareho. To indicate that they belong to one task. Here, nag-change na ako ng color kasi iba na rin yung skill ko. So, somehow, you're also teaching the kids na nag iba na tayo ng thinking requirement with this task. Iba na rin yung expectations na sa skills. So, it helps somehow visually direct them na may, na may transition na, na nagaganap using colors. Okay, this one, since the mother is trying to look for the little bunny, I created the maze kasi nga, the idea is that the, the mother bunny will always try to go after or to run after the little bunny. So, how do we do that? This, uh, ang, basically, just look for the pictures of this two and this one also I just look for this in the internet. Now, this one is a JPEG. Pero if you want to do a PNG, pwede rin naman. So, just go to Google. So, let's try to open it. I hope it doesn't take long. This is what I don't like to do. Yung nagahanap ka ng picture at the middle. Pero just to show you how I do it. So, pwede naman diretsyo dito sa search bar. So, maze. I just look for maze. Clip art PNG. Why PNG? Because transparent yung background. So if I want a different color ng background, it's easier to also manipulate. Okay, so pwede na tayong mamili ng kung anong maze yung gusto natin. So depende kung gaano kahirap yung gusto mo. But because it's for K to 2, let's just look for one that's easy. Let's use this one. Ito yung sinasabi ko na sometimes you're going to be redirected to a different tab or a different page rather tapos kailangan mo mag-download for some instance for some instances you have to link your FB ito mukhang wala naman so download lang diretso download PNG and then you just go here you can either put it in a different folder pa. Yan ang sure ng PNG, transparent background. Or you can just copy directly. Go to PowerPoint and then paste it. Yan. So, adjust nyo lang. Kasi ito 
colorful. You can just look for the pictures you need. So the mommy bunny and then the baby bunny. And put it in the slide. Then just do the rest of the task that I said earlier. Just put the borders and then the title and then you're done. Okay. So one bonus task that I included is this one. The grammar and oral language development. So this is just an add-on. In reading, kasi what we do is that if the book can be used to teach certain lessons in oral language or grammar, we utilize it. So fish and bird, what are they? They are animals. Flower tree, what are they? They are plants. So hindi siya sabay-sabay. So that when you make the generalization, kita niya yung different groups. Then you tell them that they are, they are now. So then you can proceed with other activities that you have designed for this lesson. Okay, so it's so easy, right? So let's try to answer it in Zoom. So we're going to ask someone to pretend to be the student and then we're going to let him answer the worksheet so that you'll know how it it goes with a student. So the first thing we need to do is to click share screen. Look for the screen that showcases the PowerPoint. So this is the one. Click share. And then project. Present it so that the kid would know the activity. So it's up to you if you still want the sounds. If it doesn't distract the kid, go on with it. Okay, now what I want uh, Reggie to do is to match the picture. So, ganito lang siya. Click remote control. Give the mouse to your student. Click the name of the student here. And then it will appear here. Waiting for the Gorpeneda to control your screen. So, he'll be the one doing the markings on the slide. So, click annotate. Share, uh, click draw next and then choose the light. So usually I ask kids to use the thicker curve line kasi mas kita siya. Okay, so match. Match the picture to the other picture. So match what the mother bunny wants, uh, the little bunny wants to do and what the mother bunny will do in return. So to prompt the kid, you can say, mother bunny told little bunny, if you become a rock, then I will be a mountain climber or draw a line. Okay, now if you want, you can even write the names of the things. So you, what I did was click text. So what is this? It's a rock. What are the sounds? Or a k. There. So pwede pa niyang para mapakita sa kid kung ano yung name ng things. So, you can either type, katulad ng ginagawa ko right now, or pwede rin na draw. So, pwede mong isulat dyan, gardener. Real time, nakikita nila. Pero sometimes I just type. Okay, oh, let's match again. How about the trout? The little bunny said, or the, mud, the mother bunny told little bunny, if you become a trout, then I will be a... Okay. Then, the little bunny said, I will, then I will become a crocus. Ganyan. Ganyan lang. Ulit-ulit lang. If you become a crocus, then I will be a blank. So, draw a line. Nakikita niyo yung, yung marking na yun. It means that it's working. Oh, next one, bird. Match it to the tree. Okay. Then you just clear all drawings and go to the next to the next um, slide. So, click mouse and then go to the next slide. Ah, may transition pa siya kasi. Alright, our next one, match. Match na po. Match. Draw a line to connect the pictures on the left with the pictures on the right. Do it all na.
Okay. And then for the next activity, it's a sequencing task. So here, clear natin lahat ng drawings. The child just needs to put numbers. So the first one is the... Then, so, nakikita nyo yung kid, naglalagay lang siya ng markings. So, pwede nyo rin niyang dagdagan. So, alam mo, gusto mong gawin mo siyang first. So, tapos, i-change mo yung color ng font. Gawin mong red para mas kita niya. Kung hindi pa niya alam, ikaw muna magdagdag. So, yung number, si kid, ako yung nagsusulat nung letters. It's easier, ha, for me kasi touch screen. Pero kung mouse to, I think, better mag-text na lang kasi mas madali siyang i-control. Okay, when you're done, what I do usually is to click print screen para meron akong recording nung ginawa nung student. So, clear all drawings and then click mouse, go to the next page. So, ganun ulit yung principle. Skip na natin to kasi it's the same thing. Ito lang yung sa mother. And then the maze. So, here the instruction is to help the mother bunny reach her little bunny. So, draw a line to reach the baby bunny. Sometimes it takes a while bago nyo makita yung sagot. So, just have to wait a little bit. Ayan. Okay. And then, that's it. So, that's how our student will answer the digital version. Okay, now. So, what we're going to do is to try to do it in Google Slides. So, you need a Gmail for this one. So, open your Gmail. Go here sa Google Apps. Click it. And then, go to Slides. So, I already did the activity here in the slides. Actually, what you can do is that if you created it in PowerPoint, all you have to do is to down is to upload it here in the drive. Dito. So, just click drive. And then, there's an option here. It says here, new. Click that one. And then, file upload. Then you can already add there the whatever file you have here. So yung PowerPoint na ginawa niyo kanina, pwede niyo siyang i-upload. Actually, yun yung ginawa ko. So it will look like this. Let's try to open it. Either open Google Slides first. Usually when you upload, ito yung mangyayari. So i-click mo siya, then you're going to be redirected here. It's going to ask you, kita mo na agad nagbago yung itsura, right? Kasi sa PowerPoint nga siya ginawa. And sometimes limited yung font sa Google Slides. Pero that's fine. So, click open with tapos Google Slides. Magre-revert back naman siya with how it was. I think the only one that will not be projected with the audio. Ayan. So, it will require you to convert. Sometimes nagbabago, sometimes hindi. So, no need actually to um to restart making your slides here. Pero it's the same principle. So, alimbawa, gagayahin natin itong uh, matching part here. Then, create a blank presentation. So, it's almost the same thing. So, again, I prefer it to be blank. Go to layout. Medyo konti lang ng, konting iba lang yung itsura ng positions ng commands. Ayan. So, may mga preset din na, siya, din siya na theme sa gilid. Whichever you want to use. And then, ganun lang din. mag insert lang din tayo ng image. So, we either upload from the computer or search the web. So, upload tayo from computer kasi may preset naman na tayo. Let's go to desktop. Pictures. Ayan. So, just click that. Then, nalabas na siya. See? And then, insert. 
Again, text box. So make a text box. Type what you want to put here. The runaway bunny. So ganun lang din yung principle. It's not really different. Kabaguhin muna natin. Yan, pasipi ko. Tapos kung wala dito yung mga gusto, ito kasi yung recent na yan, in ko lang yan. Kung wala dito yung mga fonts, madali lang mag-add ng font. So just click this one, the A with the plus sign, and then search the font that you want. Diba? May, may gusto kang particular na font. Diba? Gusto ko si Meriwether. Wala ko niyan. Click OK. Madadagdag na siya dun sa preset font. So, di ba, mas mabilis. Kesa kapag mag a ka ng font sa PowerPoint, mas marami siyang steps na kailangan. So, I'll use Pacifico. I just added that also. So, let's make it 48. Tama ba? I think it's 48. Okay, there. And then, change the color. Control A, make it click A. Make it um, not that color. Something darker. Ito ba yun? Ayun, ayun, yun. The master color. Yan. So, insert again. Shape. So, pareho lang. Shape. And so on. Ganun lang. Pare-pareho lang siya ng steps. Ang difference lang, I think, na major would be the insert image. Kasi dito, ang maganda sa... Google Slides, pwede ka nang mag-image, uh, kumuha ng image directly sa web. So, pwedeng web, as in directly sa internet. Hindi na ako nag-create ng new tab, oh, notice, hindi na ako nag-search here. Ang ginawa ko na lang, click ko lang yung insert, tapos image, and then search the web. So, here. Nakikita mo na siya sa gilid. Medyo efficient, efficient siya in a sense kasi hindi ka nalabas ng labas ng, ng Google Slides. Doon lang mismo download mo na yung mga kailangan mo. So, alamawa, kailangan ko ng ng bunny. Clip art. PNG. Sorry, long, wrong spelling. Clip art. Alamawa, kailangan ko yung to, si mother bunny and si baby bunny. So, I just need to click it. And then, sorry, nakaharang yung mukha ko. Click insert. Then, nalabas na siya. See, hindi na siya na redirect to another page. So, it's the same principle. And then, all you have to do is to project it. And then, pwede na ulit sagutan ng student. So, try natin, ha? So, let's ask the student again to answer. So, share screen. This time, let's use this one. The one that has the Chrome, uh, Chrome logo. It means it's in Google Slides. Okay, and then get and then present, click present. And then the slide information will be here on the side. Medyo mas kita siya kapag sa Google Slides compared sa PowerPoint. Yan. So it's the same thing. Match again the pictures. So prompt mo na lang ulit. Match na share ko na sa yo. Ah okay, I'm sorry I didn't see. Nakalimutan ko yung remote control. Give it to Regor and then now he can already match the picture. So click annotate under draw. Yeah, lalabas yung options niya. Sometimes you need to adjust yung pin bar kasi nga medyo nakakasagabal siya sa sa nakikita mo no. Yan, para hindi masakit sa mata. Okay, next. Okay, so same lang din siya. Pwede mong gamitin either Google Slide or PowerPoint to make the activity. Kasi pareho silang pwede i-project sa screen and masagutan using the annotation tools. Stop share. Okay, so that's it. I hope you learned a lot today. Uh, make your own worksheets and then take screenshots para makakita din ng mga samples yung ating mga ibang teachers. Thank you! Bye!